You, you've seen a lot in your career. How would you, where would you put Marquise's performance and your receiver's performance, because they were both hand in hand there. And where would you put that performance based on what you've seen in your career? Well, overall, I think you'd have to give it an A+. Plus. It was just one of those days when you were catching all the cards right, you know, whether it be the coverage or guys making plays, the balls were in perfect position. They really didn't have to break stride and, you know, just raining touchdowns, as you said. The guys had to get open first, but like you said, they didn't break straight. Nobody had to slow down, nobody had to speed up. The ball was there. Is that the best Marquise has been? That's the best I've seen a lot of people in a long time. And, say, he, and you got to give Coach Cap and the offensive line credit. Obviously, yeah. he had time and wasn't stressed very much at all. So it was one of those days, as I said, that's as close to perfect as you can play in certain situations on those particular plays. I don't know, I've been around. 15 explosive plays in one game. The first play, the flea flicker, Ryan kind of had, I don't know what you would describe it. Technically, what do you call that? Well, hesitation and then he took off? <clears throat> yeah, we, it's, it's off a flea flicker. We give the ball to the back, get up in the line and pitch it back. So obviously, we want to have the opportunity to sell the run. And he sold the run good, the safety bit like we hoped. And actually, we had Mac and Switch both yeah. open on that particular play. And Mac being open actually drew the safety away from it, so it gave us a chance to put it in the end zone. Ever since the Delaware game, Marquise had a chat with Coach Fedor the next day, and that was a low point for him. How, Coach said yesterday that his focus is what has been the difference, but how is, has his physical play changed? How has the focus enhanced the physical part of his game since then? Well, anytime that, that guy gets all the credit and all the blame, you know, as a quarterback, and you, you have a game like that, it's like a pitcher. All of a sudden, you can't find the plate one day, and you go back and focus on the fundamentals, what gets you there. And obviously, he talk, had a good talk with Coach, and, and also his quarterback coach, Coach Heck, does a tremendous job with him. I think you're just going back and refocusing on what, what gets you in and out of games. And, you know, if you're not focused, I don't care whether the opponent's Delaware or, uh, you know, South Dakota or the Green Bay Packers, you got to be focused, you got to be ready to play because it is about making plays at the right time and anybody on any given day can't get you. Ever since camp started, about every three weeks, I ask you about Mac. And we talked a lot earlier about him becoming more of a possession type receiver. He kind of joked the other day that some of those catches are hurting his touchdown to reception ratio, but it's making him a better player. And it seems like that we've seen a lot of that growth in the last five or six weeks. It is, and he's, he's made a focus on what he wants to do as far as the intermediate routes, getting better at curls and digs and, and comebacks and those things. So we just hadn't had those opportunities where they've gone to him a whole lot. You know, we're lucky enough to be fortunate to hit big balls and have explosive plays where the drives don't last very long, so you don't have those opportunities, which I'll take that too. Thanks a lot, Coach.